This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with another review that I didn't expect to do, but... Yeah. Okay, everybody knows, I told myself and I told everybody in chat I was skipping this guy uh, because I was happy with my Siege version. And I am happy with my Siege version. It's even been toy hacks. Uh, the video's out. And it's fantastic, but... Then I saw, you know, all the great reviewers review this guy and just saying it's good, it's good, it's good, it's awesome, it's great, the mode is perfect, the alt mode is great, the engineering is better, I'm like, damn you! So I checked DJC collectibles at the time, it was sold out, I'm like, okay, if I see it in store, which I didn't expect to ever do, if I see it in store, I'll buy it. And then during Black Friday, Derek got a case. Uh, well, there wasn't any deal on that, but it just happened at the same time because I kept checking for, you know, new uh, new sales. And yeah, this figure was in stock, so I bought it. Uh, and I hope, I truly hope now that it's as good as everybody's saying it is. So yeah, I uh, can't wait to open that guy up. And in my Siege one, I'll, I don't know, put in my leftover shelf or I'll do a Cybertronian display, maybe. I don't know. So anyway, before I do the review, make sure you check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm super proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectible, uh, which is a fantastic online store, uh, local pickup if you're in the uh, Ottawa area, or uh, fantastic shipping, um, you know, thoughtfully wrapped so that uh, nothing breaks. Uh, so yeah, he's a fantastic guy, Derek, who runs it uh, by himself, I think. I'm pretty sure he does. And uh, yeah, so uh, check it out. And at the end of the video, you get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's uh, roll the intro. You know when you get the feeling that you might have been wrong about a figure? Yeah, I had it when I purchased it and I knew I was gonna regret it when I skipped it originally, but uh, now that I have him in hand, yeah, I've been wrong. I should have never skipped him. I haven't transformed him yet, but just from the looks of him, I made the right call, even if it was the Voyager price. Taking a look at Ironhide first, uh, we're gonna, well, you know, the instructions. Standard uh, Studio Series 86 thing, which is inspired by War for Cybertron. They tell you everything. How to store the weapons, different ways. And, you know, it works. So, you know, instructions are fun. The box, uh, it's really good. And then on the inside, of course, that's the, the thing now with Studio Series 86. You have two inserts. You have, well, this one here which the figure comes in, so it's all broken up and damaged because that's what holds the figure. And then you have the actual backdrop. It's the same thing, just nicer. Except, I don't know why, but this one has like a big tape right here. So, you know, you see the, this marking. I don't know, It maybe, is there a gimmick to it? Uh, I, I don't think so, it's just... I don't know, there's a tape, and this is where you'll be shot mercilessly, so, good times. Uh, the guns look very movie accurate, uh, from what my uh, children mind eye is telling me. Looks good, there's a number three in it. And here, is there a number three as well? There's a number one. So this is the first gun, and this is the third gun. And they're both exactly the same, so, no idea. Well, I guess they're not the same if they're marked differently. So this is a different mold? Not like, not just different stamp. Why? I don't know. Not an engineer, I don't know. But looking at this figure, oh man, it looks, it looks good. I mean, the nice blue eyes, the head sculpt is very faithful to the movie and the series. Uh, much more smoother shoulder than we had with Siege and Earthrise, uh, the whole hand, uh, really smooth plastic, great quality. There's a great feel to the weight of this figure. It's 
really good. Uh, the gray, uh, the crotch area, the leg looks good. A uh, bit of a kibble on the side, you know, it's not that bad. But there's no, there's no hollow part, except, yeah. Well, actually, no, not even here, because the hand, it's like super tiny, because the hand, you know, it doesn't go in uh, completely. So, yeah. Kudos, like this is, so far, I'm impressed. I'm um, not a big fan of having to, you know, walk on your back end, but uh, I don't want to scratch it, but it looks really good. The feet look way better than they did on uh, Siege and Earthrise. Yeah, the only problem is maybe that back cable here, but I can live with that. And you can store weapons and stuff here, like... Uh, <clears throat> I think I might have, you know, this might be mistransformed. Maybe it's, uh, maybe like that. Yeah, because then you can take this. Can you? Yeah. All right, so you put it like this and this. And now he's holding, he's storing his weapon. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we can't reach back to pick it up. But I guess, you know, transformers. So it looks really good. Whoa. Well, on peg pretty quickly. And... You know, one gun only in the movie. I don't remember if it's left or right, but... Oh, I'm pink too. I think when I transform him, I'm going to hate myself for doubting that I needed this figure. Alright, let's do some uh, articulations. So, this guy is fully articulated. You have the Ferris wheel going on. Uh, the 360 on the head. Uh, because of transformation, he can look down, kinda. Look up. Uh, no attitude. Do I have a nab crunch? Well, hold on. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> Let's not call that a nab crunch or a back crunch. Um, you have a rotation of the arm underneath. You have the shoulder joint. Let's you go up like this. You have the elbow band. Looks really good. The hand oh, does rotate. I've been forcing hands these days and they just fly off when I apply too much pressure. The skirt's gonna look up. Well, not look up, but go up, sorry. Uh, fair, uh, merry go round. It's really good. And then if you place him like this, he goes, Waha! Bang! You can do the Johnny Cage. That's a nut punch. So, well, not, f oh yeah, fully. There you go. I like that. Big Mortal Kombat fan, so. Rotation, well, okay. Kick, if you lift the skirt, kick up. Kick back. 90 degree knee bend. Rotation at the upper thigh. Uh, you have a, well, because of transformation, you have this movement with uh, the, the foot, and you also have a good uh, ankle tilt. So that's pretty neat. I mean, I'm, so far I'm impressed. Ah, uh, I hate when I'm wrong. Okay, let's put him on the side here. Have him maybe look at the camera a little better. There you go. And do some size comparison. With, let's go first with the Earthrise mold. You can spot major differences uh, in the molding of the shoulders, the arm. This is rough with a lot of details. This is smooth. New hand, um, new, new, everything is new. Uh, new joints, the legs are completely different. Uh, this is, you know, two, two flaps going uh, up like this. And then this opens up, you know, it's really, whoa, he has a shield in the back, so maybe he's a little back heavy. Uh, that's one thing, there's no shield accessory with the new version, which I didn't mind the shield. You know, you just put it in the back, it looks fine, but... It, it was great for, it makes sense to me to have a medic with a shield. Or maybe even a warrior with a shield. I mean, why wouldn't you want more protection when you're under fire? But I'm not a military guy. I don't know if it's an encumbrance more than anything. And then you have major difference on the foot. I mean, these are way forward. These are, you know, pretty even. So uh, I love both of these things. Uh, I'm more impressed with the engineering the articulation and stuff of this guy. Like, not the articulation itself, but there's just a little more on this guy that makes you go, mm, 
yeah. All right, other size comparison with Siege Ironhide, and we're leagues apart. I mean, the weight of the figure... Uh, actually, you know what? I never tested it before. Siege? Oh, uh, maybe it's because I have the hammer. Okay, let's do the hammer weight test. About the same, so I don't know if we get more plastic. Maybe not. So that's... Um, eh. You know, you, you want to pay for plastic. The engineering, for sure, looks better on this one. This is a very simple transformation. Uh, you know, twist around, fl flip-flop, uh, close to flap, and that's it, you're done. So, And then the weapon was also bigger. And I love this weapon. A hammer who's also a rocket launcher, but it's not that I love. It's like a gun blade. It's a hammer launcher, you know. So, I'm going to remove this, keep these guys. Uh, completely new head sculpt. I mean, Siege is thinner. This one is more cart. Uh, Studio series is more cartoon accurate. Both are good. Uh, same color of eyes. Same uh, color of uh, head. Uh, it's a lighter red on Studio Series 86. And a final comparison with Heroic Nonsense Megatron. And now we're going to go for the transformation. What are you doing here? This area is off limits to civilians. So what you want to do? is take, the first thing they tell you to do is take this, uh, the front piece here, and move it like this, and I like that, but, you know, look at the amount of clear plastic inside, here, here, and this is all going to be used for joints later, so, you want to be careful, so you want to unfold this, right, and then put it so that, you know, you have the, the whole front end like this, and we're done. And I hate being wrong. The, okay, you know, I've said it. I wanted to just have my... I was satisfied with my Siege Ironhide. The alt mode, even if it's Cybertronian, it looks good, blah, blah, blah. But man, is this ever a almost perfect Ironhide. I mean, for a Hasbro figure, this is fantastic. Look at this. I mean, okay, three shades of red, sure. I mean, this red goes with this red. This here is one shade of red. This goes with this red. Well, this red and this red, and then this goes with this. Like, I mean, you can, you know, match it. So sure, it looks a little mishappen, but it's still fantastic. I mean, you know, there's a hinge, there's a hinge. Yes, it sucks, but my brain will phase that out soon enough that I will just look at this and see a minivan, as it should be, with the ski rack thing, you know. But if you pop it off, it's actually pretty tight. Yeah, there you go. Too much clear plastic uh, used as joint in this. I'm super happy. Look, my copy doesn't have the gap that most people are showing. So that's that's great. Sure, there's an eyesore again. There's a left one, left two, and a right one, right two. Oh, actually, I have two R2s. Huh, left one, left two. R2, R2. All right, cool. But, you know, the clear plastic, you see the robot junk inside, but that's going to be covered with a decal within three months. The grill in front looks good, needs, again, decals are going to fix that. I'm willing to get the decals for this. The wheels, two identical wheels, no mushroom peg. I mean, golly, this is Hasbro at its best. I hate being wrong. I did not want to pay the Voyager price for a deluxe figure, but this is, the, the quality on this is beyond everything that they've done for Ironhide or a lot of figures these days. I mean, it, why couldn't they put this much effort in Skullgrin, which was one of my most anticipated figure? And I'm, if you saw my review, I'm disappointed. But this one looks really good, and I expected nothing from this. God, I hate being wrong, but man, this this is the Ironhide that we've been waiting for, and that should have been the Earthrise release. And it it ah. Oh. I'm like upset that I skipped it, but then I was lucky enough that DJC stocked it again so I could get it. I hate that I paid the Voyager price for it, but it's it's actually worth it. I hate being wrong. That's my wife. I hate being wrong. He rolls fine, even on this smooth surface. No problem there. The back end, it's fully red. It's gonna have to, you know, need some uh, Toy Hanks decals. But God. Yeah. It's eyesore a little bit. Fixable. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, Hasbro doesn't do the legend tab folding 
you know, like uh, any legends scale or even the master masterpiece uh, figures uh, from third parties where they, you know, they fold upon it themselves to, you know, cover gaps and stuff. So we have these things, but I mean, from a distance, looks freaking good. Stop yapping, Blue Streak. This is my fight. Make it our fight. So, all right, let's do some size comparison. So here's our uh, Studio Series 86 Ironhide in vehicle mode compared with Siege Starscream, Earthrise Ratchet uh, from the Paragon Medics kit. Uh, he's been fully toy hacked and you can spot, you know, let's do a quick comparison. Uh, you know, it's uh, similar yet different. Uh, better wheels. Uh, of course, this one's been fully toy hacked, so you, you don't see inside. I mean, it has roughly the same shape, you know. There's maybe a little more gapage on the Studio Series 86. Robot parts kind of quite the same. Front end. Uh, oh, they changed the direction of the windshield wiper. That's weird. Uh, but it looks uh, looks good. I mean, there was a little more, uh, you know, with the black on the Earthrise version. So anyway you know you can see the difference in the mold uh but uh, everything is kind of worth it so and see gyron hide who's also been completely toy hacks uh and then you can spot you know there might be some paint details needed uh, for the studio series 86 uh which uh, again toy hacks is gonna fix and but you know there's a real difference uh the cybertronian mode is still one of my favorites for iron hide it it really is i like it it screams of warrior this screams more of you know, sucker mom. Not as much as Skid does, but you know, it's still a minivan. So, uh, you know, Ironhide the family man versus Ironhide the warrior. But both are great. It just, I'm, um, you know, maybe that's the new standard. We're gonna pay Voyager price for better deluxe figures. Who knows? I hope they don't redo the whole thing, cause I don't want to rebuy my whole collection, man. And now let me put him back in uh, robot mode and do my final thoughts. <laughs> can't move as for my final thoughts i'm just dumbfounded it's an amazing figure i hate the price that i paid for it but i love the figure and i'm gonna add money to this figure with the toy hacks decals when they come out i know but it's really really worth it it's really good i i love it so i don't know for my season one display iron hide from siege is gonna be removed and replaced with this guy and uh you know that's i guess part of life i'm gonna still find a place for him i don't think i'm gonna get rid of him but you know hasbro's doing a couple things right uh, i know there's been a lot of grief over the, this figure because of the price and the amount of plastic and but once you have it in hand man it's really hard not to love it i mean really hard and it's going to be harder not picking up ratchet because the ratchet that i have earthrise not only is it a rare exclusive because it was in limited uh, series from Amazon that a lot of people in Canada didn't get. My sister got me this, so it's a gift. And I love it, and I'm super grateful for it. So I don't need to replace this one. I really don't. I have this mold. I have, you know, one of each mold. So I'm, I'm satisfied with that. So, But then in a year, if you see a Ratchet review on this channel, you know, send me some hate mail. I don't know. Guys, thanks for watching. I know I've been maybe overly uh, excited at some point in this one. Uh, love that figure. Uh, and I love Transformers. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.